first of all, why go anywhere? As Elon Musk aims for Mars, humankind looks to travel further than it has ever been before. Our goal is to go to the fourth rock on the left. Uh, that's Mars. Welcome to Watch Mojo News, the weekly series from WatchMojo.com, where we break down news stories that might be on your radar. In this installment, we're counting down five crucial facts you should know about the SpaceX Mars expedition. The biggest contribution I can to um, making life multiplanetary. Number five, what is Elon Musk's plan? Ever since Elon Musk founded the privatized space firm SpaceX in 2002, the end goal has been the same, to fly humans to Mars and colonize the Red Planet. In September 2016, Musk spoke at the 67th International Astronautical Congress in Guadalajara, Mexico to unveil plans for the mission, including details about the technology and vehicles that will be used. What I really want to try to uh, achieve here is to make Mars seem possible, uh, make it seem as though it's something that we can do in our lifetimes. SpaceX sees the first passengers making the journey in 2024, if development continues without any major hitches, and Musk estimates that the reusable rocket would cost around $10 billion to make. Tests to its powerful new Raptor engine were carried out earlier in 2016, as SpaceX aims to ferry 100 to 200 passengers on every vehicle leaving Earth to build a self-sustaining Martian city within 100 years. In general, Mars is, is far better suited to ultimately scale up to be a self-sustaining civilization. Days before his appearance in Mexico, Musk announced a name change for his vision, as the Mars Colonial Transporter Project was rebranded as the Interplanetary Transport System. The change was made upon the realization that the SpaceX rocket could potentially travel even further than Mars, and that a form of intergalactic railroad was theoretically possible. Number four, why is colonizing Mars an important mission? As the former head of PayPal and current CEO of Tesla Motors, Elon Musk says the main reason he has gathered his wealth is so that he can fund his Mars ambitions. The entrepreneur, who also chairs a renewable energy firm, SolarCity, wants to turn humankind into an interplanetary species to ensure its survival should a cataclysmic event occur on Earth. While humans have flown unmanned vehicles to the Red Planet and successfully landed on its surface, the planet remains the furthest away from Earth that our technology has ever actually stepped foot. Musk aims to change that, and Mars is his first target. SpaceX sees a future where moons, planets, and far-flung bodies act as refueling stops for the ITS, similar to today's railroad stations. While hop-on, hop-off space travel remains a very far-off dream, the creation of a Martian base would signify a very significant step toward making it a reality. Number three, how will astronauts make the journey? Prior to Musk taking the stage, SpaceX published a short promo clip showing how the journey should unfold. After launching from Cape Canaveral, a spaceship and booster will separate above the Earth, sending the ship into parking orbit. The booster then returns to the launch site, is loaded with a propellant tanker, relaunches, and returns to the ship for refueling. Finally, the spaceship jets off to Mars. The journey is expected to take between three and four months, and as Musk hopes to see a Martian city with more than a million people, there could be up to 10,000 manned trips departing Earth. Speaking in Mexico, Musk provided very few details on the conditions inside the Mars-bound spaceship, or how the astronauts will go about their daily lives, including eating arrangements, exercise routines, and safety procedures. A SpaceX trip is expected to be relatively affordable, however, with a projected price for the first tickets at around $500,000, falling to $200,000 once the route is better established. Musk has said that he hopes a trip to Mars will one day cost the equivalent of buying an average American home. Then, then I think you would have enough people would, would buy a ticket uh, and move to Mars to be part of creating a new planet. Number two, what challenges do Mars colonists face? According to Musk, the first Mars colonizers should be prepared to die during the mission. Such are the dangers involved. NASA has expressed concern over the increased radiation which Mars travelers will experience on the journey, though Musk dismisses the issue as, quote, not too big of a deal and experts have highlighted the potential health risks which come with major changes in gravity, including muscle deterioration and eyesight problems. Should the journey be completed without any casualties, then there are further unanswered questions about exactly how humans will survive in their new home. I colonized Mars. In your face, Neil Armstrong. Conditions are expected to be extremely hostile, and facilities and resources are limited, especially for early settlers. The SpaceX promo clip closed with a shot of the colonists walking out onto Mars, but with no indicator as to what would happen next, and the issue of actually living on Mars wasn't tackled in depth during Musk's presentation. 
While the SpaceX CEO did tout ideas for an artificial magnetic field to tackle radiation, plans for how to build it weren't mentioned. The colonists would have to find a way of creating breathable air, edible food, and drinkable water before the logistics of city building could ever be discussed. Musk has said that he will not put himself forward for the mission for family reasons, but he hopes that there are enough people willing to risk the dangers to become pioneers. Number one, what does this mean for the future of space travel? At this point, there remains a lot of questions to answer and problems to overcome. How will the first colonists be selected? How will cross-planetary contamination laws be negotiated? And how can travelers possibly prepare for the unknown health risks they'll encounter? Perhaps the most pressing question is how will it all be funded? While Musk's presentation was designed to excite the watching world, it also served as a pitch to anyone willing to grant the billions of dollars needed to turn the idea into a reality. Musk has conceded that the Mars mission will likely be a public-private venture. An analyst believes SpaceX could yet be backed by NASA. The company leader argues that many of the solutions needed to sustain life on Mars are not his to find. The SpaceX mission is simply to transport humans to Mars. The opportunities once we get there are someone else's to exploit. If you have all of those four elements, um, you, you can actually go anywhere in the solar system by, by, by planet hopping or, or moon hopping. Fundamentally, Elon Musk's mission statement is a rallying call for everyone working within space technology and for the human race in general. We've spent centuries observing the stars. Isn't it about time we started to explore them? Did these facts get you thinking? And then ultimately, Mars can probably export uh, intellectual property like software and inventions and things like that. To vote for which news story is covered next, head over to watchmojo.com slash suggest. And be sure to hit that subscribe button for more newsworthy top fives published every week. If any one thing doesn't work just right, it's game over.